today I'm going to introduce you to and invite you to uh, participate in using uh, mantras as a part of your mindfulness practice. Mantras are words or brief phrases that become the focus of a meditation. In mindfulness, you're paying attention to what you're feeling emotionally, what your thoughts are in your mind and the sensations in your body. And you can use mantras during a mindfulness practice uh, to help you to um, focus on a, a particular energy and to notice what kinds of thoughts that's bringing to your mind, what kind of emotions and what kind of sensations in your body. So I've talked about using uh, mantras. Uh, I don't generally do it during a mindfulness sits because I find it rather distracting. But what I have found is that while I am uh, mowing my lawn, uh, the mantras are um, often really useful. Now I used to um, have to use a push mower to mow about an acre of uh, lawn, and then I got to use mantras a lot. <laughs> but uh, now I use this riding lawn mower and the story of why I use that and how we got this riding lawnmower is a good long one that I'm not going to get into right now. Hopefully uh, being on this mower won't be too loud, but I want to um, show you what it is that I do when I'm mowing. Now, unlike when I am uh, doing a mindfulness sit uh, and close my eyes, I'm not going to close my eyes while riding this mower. One of the main reasons is that dog. I don't want to run into her, of course. So, when I am using a mantra out here, I'm just going back and forth on the mower, and I usually will come up with, uh, probably the most powerful mantra for me is compassion. And so as I'm riding the mower, going up and down the lanes, I'm just reciting to myself, out loud or quietly, compassion. Compassion. As I'm breathing in, compassion. As I'm breathing out, compassion. I breathe in compassion for myself. I breathe out compassion for others. Now at first, uh, this mantra, this word, is it's just a word. It's almost like I'm reciting something by rote. It doesn't have a really strong emotional meaning for me. But then I begin to think about the people or the organizations for whom I need and want to feel compassion. It's um, a lot easier to feel compassion for some than others. There are people who have really, really hurt me in my life, and I find that really difficult. And so, them. I picture the people, the organizations that I want to feel some compassion for. And then I actually entertain what is it that they have done, how do I feel um, that leads me to want to have compassion for them. Because having that feeling, that hard feeling is, well, I don't like carrying it. And so I think about how they've hurt me and I keep reciting compassion compassion and now the feelings are starting to build and they're not necessarily really good feelings at first but then uh, when I identify what it is they've done that has hurt me I think about times when I've done that same thing so sometimes people hurt me by lying or by hiding the truth well I've lied I've hidden the truth and as soon as I start getting to that as soon as I start realizing that they and I are not so different, then the compassion feels real. Then it starts feeling in me, in my mind, in my heart, in my body. I actually do feel compassion for these people who more often make me feel angry or hurt. So this is one of the meditations I use or mantras I use when I am mowing my lawn. So if you want to practice that meditation as you are mowing, that's fantastic. Now you can also do this very same thing simply walking. So I'm walking and I'm breathing in love. I'm breathing out love. 
I'm breathing in love. I'm breathing out love. And on this day, when I'm here with my dogs, when I'm here near Mount Hood, when I'm here on this land that Rebecca and I are caretaking, our home, I also am so aware of beauty. And so I breathe in beauty. I breathe out beauty as I walk. Now I tend to walk slowly. You don't have to, but I tend to walk slowly. And as I'm walking, I'm breathing in beauty. I'm breathing out beauty. And as I say that, I'm hearing the beauty of the bird song. I'm seeing the beauty of the trees of this place. I'm feeling the beauty in my own heart and I'm starting to notice my own beauty, the beauty that I carry within me. And this is part of the power of mantras is that they can help us to connect with what is true in our own selves. So you can mow the lawn reciting mantras. You can walk. And if you're a crazy person who likes to run, you can run with a mantra. So another mantra that I like to use is thank you. I breathe in, thank you. I breathe out, thank you. <laughs> and so Tatouche is breathing in thank you with me. I breathe out, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So these are mantras. Um, if you find it useful, I invite you to go on a walk, go on a run, mow your lawn, or do whatever else you want, breathing in a concept, an energy that you want, that you need, and breathe it out. Breathe it in for yourself, and breathe it out for the world. Thanks for joining me.